Are you battling to conceive? Or have you perhaps had a failed IVF or are you around? Or someone's murmured the equality statement to you. Uh, here's my take on improving your egg quality and really how I feel about the advice of changing your face products and water bottles uh, being completely useless if the person is riddled with anxiety or fear of having a baby, birthing a baby um, or being pregnant. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel below, click the bell so next time I release a video you'll get notified. Uh, my channel is all about fertility and getting you to your baby, but discussing the things that I really feel the industry are not discussing and are of utmost importance to couples trying to conceive. So on my three year infertility journey, I had three failed rounds of IUI, artificial insemination. Um, equality was always the thing that was discussed, although no one ever discussed sperm quality. And remembering that we cannot test an egg it's too unstable as it's a single cell. Um, anyway, I digress. We're not talking about whose fault this was or, or man versus woman. Uh, more importantly though, some of this egg quality information is nice to know. Uh, and I think it's part of the puzzle piece of your fertility journey. However, my opinion is if there is huge resistance to one of the points, it probably means that it's not right for you or that there's some inner work below that resistance that we need to un unblock, unravel and clear out. So here's what the industry talks about, but here's my take on each point. So here's what we know about eggs and egg quality. Point one, we can't test an egg. Point two, we can test egg reserves. So the blood test AMH is which I'm sure most of you watching this video have had already, can show us how fertile we are. Meaning a high AMH will mean that there's a big uh, bag of eggs. So for many more months, this person will be fertile, but a smaller or lower AMH levels means that the person will be fertile for a few less years than the, than the next. In my opinion, testing AMH is not a good idea. It doesn't help us with anything. All it does is it gets the person into a negative headspace. It makes them feel like they are on the back foot. So this is the important thing to understand. How can we improve egg quality? We can't improve the actual egg, but we can help the environment of the proteins that hold those eggs in place in our ovaries. So once again, we now go into the body and we say, how can we improve the environment? of the proteins holding the eggs that potentially can then have a positive impact on the egg quality. Now before I get into the actual environment, I want you to remember if you've watched my previous videos on the four pillars of fertility that I stress with every single client that I see. We need to address our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, our mental bodies and our spiritual or intuitive bodies. Fertility is not just a physical body issue. Most of us potentially watching this video have had the statements unexplained infertility or infertility of unknown source um, thrown at us. So it's not all physical, okay? So these are some of the things that we can do to improve egg quality on all four of the pillars of fertility, of fertility that I work with. The first thing is we can improve what we eat. Uh, pretty standard fertility information, which I'm sure you all know. Things that I like to recommend is trying to eat whole food or unprocessed food, avoiding things like sugar, caffeine, alcohol, all the stimulants in the body, adding more colors to your plates uh, and to your snack times, and ultimately lots of water, lots of good quality meats uh, and good fats, and just really looking at your diet from a does this grow in the earth walk in the field or swim in the sea if so it's really something that my body can pull value from and pull nutrients from if it's made in a factory potentially not the best thing to eat the second thing we can do to improve the environment of the ovaries and ultimately help with the dna not getting damaged in the eggs in our eggs is uh, movement um, so getting the blood flow quicker, 
and fresh healthy oxygenated blood to your ovaries more often in the day how can we do that with good gentle exercise with acupuncture with uh, massage and then obviously also with castor oil packs if you haven't um, tried them uh, there's a video coming up soon on castor oil packs but really good to get healthy fresh blood uh, down into your ovaries and uterus point three is trying to manage our nervous system so your nervous system is obviously your fight and flight uh, trying to reduce the impact of the sympathetic or the panic freak out nervous system how can we do that two things sleep and stress sleep how can we improve our sleep when we are wishing praying fighting for a baby every single month it's a very good question but we can try and do things like guided meditations uh, binaural beats at night, um, changing the lighting in your house to try and improve um, the melatonin levels in your in your body and really just doing some good breath work that can all help your sleep. Your stress, it's a whole video on itself and let's be honest, uh, people struggling to conceive are not your low stress, very chilled out human beings. We are high achievers, highly driven, often very high energy women um, who find taking that nervous system or deactivating that nervous system really difficult. So um, one of the things I obviously promote a lot is uh, therapy uh, or, co or, co or coaching or just some form of counseling um, with respects to your fertility. But it, as you all know, I look at fertility at deeper levels and understanding the root causes of why someone could be battling. Um, it will probably not be linked to her eggs or her egg quality. It will probably be linked to something in her life or something in her past. Uh, and working through that in a safe space, uh, understanding how that affects your fertility. Um, and also that link between a life event and infertility is often a really good motivator for somebody to try and heal and work through. So stress management for me is really important, um, but it's also th that annoying comment that people that haven't had a baby always throw at you. Uh, in my opinion, getting actual stress management help linked to your fertility is, uh, is really powerful. Before I carry on, won't you just share one of your most annoying things someone said to you on this journey below in the comments? Um, I think it's so cool for us on this journey to uh, to hear the similarities of what comes up uh, from that group of humans who um, fall pregnant on honeymoon. Not our people. See what others have said and, and pop your most annoying advice below. Uh, let us all see it and read it. The fourth thing that the industry talks about in terms of improving that environment uh, for your egg quality is supplements. So there's a few that I recommend um, and I talk about it in my in my course, the Inner Work Fertility course, just to cover that physical base. So omega-3 uh, fatty acids, DHA and EPA, really important because they're anti-inflammatory and they help the body uh, reduce any inflammation uh, within the, uh, the uterus. Your coenzyme Q10 is also a great antioxidant, uh, really helpful in both men and women. Your vitamin D, very low generally in uh, women on the fertility journey. I do recommend getting your vitamin D tested every few months. Um, and because it is a, uh, we can become, to we can get toxic levels of vitamin D, it's very rare. But as it is a fat soluble vitamin and not a water soluble vitamin like other vitamins, like vitamin B and vitamin C, we can overdose on vitamin D. So I'm pretty sure most of you would have had a vitamin D blood test done and potentially taking a good D3 supplement and getting yourself into the sun for a few minutes every day um, can help your vitamin D, which will help that environment holding uh, those eggs in your, in your ovaries. The next supplement is a really good multivitamin. Uh, a good pregnancy multivitamin, not one that you're going to buy in your department stores. Go and find yourself uh, in whichever country you are, a good high quality pregnancy multivitamin. And then number point five, the last point uh, that the industry talks about uh, in improving your uh, egg quality or um, the proteins that hold your eggs in place is uh, removing toxins from your life. 
So being aware of things like BPA, parabens, cigarette smoke, marijuana, alcohol, uh, all toxic to the body uh, and ultimately um, could be looked at. Uh, disclaimer on my side, as I said at the beginning of this video, being very careful that changing your water bottle or your face products doesn't lead to chronic or increased anxiety or stress that is actually, in my opinion, a bigger problem than the small amount of um, chemical that's probably going into your skin uh, via your skin products. Um, however, whilst listening to this video, I want you to think about, does it sound like something you think you should do? Or actually, as a priority, I should rather look at my anxiety, my trauma, my relationship with my mom and all these things that have um, emotional roots and potentially emotional blocks in your fertility journey. Remember, I know the person watching this video is a high achiever. I know she is going to do everything that somebody tells her if, it, if, it, if it's going to make her, her dreams of becoming a mom come true. But we can't do everything. We have to look at what we're doing and say, I believe I'm doing enough on the physical plane, perhaps I'm not doing enough on the other planes, or I'm spending lots of hours doing my therapeutics, but I'm actually not eating well. We need to look at all four pillars of fertility and address all of them and make sure that work is being done within all of them. If any of this is resonating with you and you're wondering, now that you've watched an egg quality video, that perhaps there's actually something deeper than just looking at my diet or my supplements, please reach out. If you haven't already downloaded my free ebook called uh, Are You a High Achieving Woman Battling to Conceive? Please do, it's below. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you as you navigate all four of the pillars to get to your baby. Before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell, um, and I will then alert you every time I release a new video on fertility, getting you to your baby and talking about everything that I feel the industry is really forgetting to discuss when it comes to fertility and trying to conceive.